the PKE meter. It's the first tool a Ghostbuster uses on any paranormal investigation. Because before you can bust a ghost, you gotta find it first. And no ghost can avoid the PKE's detection. Invented by Dr. Egon Spangler when he was still a professor at Columbia University, the psychokinetic energy meter became a staple in his next career as a Ghostbuster, allowing the user to determine if an ectoplasmic manifestation is or was in the area. But how does it work? Well, when someone dies, they're not completely gone. They leave a piece of themselves behind, like my dead father who left behind $100,000 of gambling debt and a secret family in another state. But the dead also leave behind PKE, or psychokinetic energy. PKE can negatively charge the particles around it to manifest itself in a variety of forms, such as mist, orbs, or creepy old dudes in robes who stalk teenage boys from beyond the grave. These negatively charged particles ionize the other particles in the air around them. When a spook needs to get its manifest on real fast, the ionization of atoms occurs so rapidly that neutrons are ejected. This is called free neutron flux. The PKE meter measures these negatively charged ions and free neutron flux, allowing a Ghostbuster to track a ghost that has recently materialized, like breadcrumbs from beyond the grave, or a black light in the sleazy motel room of the afterlife. These negatively charged ions and ejected neutrons pass through a series of sensors on the back of the PKE meter. These sensors are tubes containing platinum electrodes and boron trifluoride, which collide with the incoming particles, creating a bukkake of charged particles that are measured and output as a pulse of current to an audio amplifier and rate meter. The PKE meter then displays the output as a series of audio beeps, flashing LEDs, and expanding wings. When operating the PKE meter, you first must turn it on by sliding the activation switch at the base of the handle. Once on, the PKE meter functions in three different modes. Mute. If properly shut down, this should be the default setting when the PKE is activated, as indicated by the slide switch in the center position as well as the center red indicator light. In this mode, the visual and audio indicators are off. Low ionization. This setting is activated when the slide switch is on the left, as indicated by the yellow light. This setting is best used indoors, where concentrations of ions are low, typically between 100 to 300 ions per cubic centimeter. High ionization. This setting is activated when the slide switch is on the right, as indicated by the green light. This setting is more effective in outdoor locations where ion concentrations often range from 1,500 to 2,000 ions per cubic centimeter. High ionization allows the PKE meter to account for environmental ions and thus give a more accurate reading. In later models, the PKE was given a fourth mode to be used when tracking manifestations with dangerous levels of PKE. These highly charged particles can be temporarily stored within the PKE meter and redirected through the wings as a psychokinetic taser giving a Ghostbuster a short-term defensive tool if they are unable to use a proton pack. This mode is activated by flipping a toggle switch located on the back of the PKE meter. Be careful when using this mode. While the PKE taser is painful to ghosts, it can be deadly to the living. This wasn't the only modification made to the PKE meter. After the interdimensional cross-rip of 1984, Dr. Peter Venkman was able to get all the EPA charges and lawsuits dropped by making a backroom deal with the U.S. government pipping out Egon Spangler as a consultant for the military, where he modified the PKE meter to detect things other than ghosts, such as energy signatures from enemy technology and even potential alien life forms. After selecting a proper mode, the PKE meter is operated much like a radiation detector by slowly orienting the device in different directions until a spike is detected. This will be indicated by movement of the sensor wings as well as audible beeps and flashing LEDs. The closer you get to the manifestation, the higher the wings, and the faster the beeps and flashes, reaching maximum levels when the PKE meter looks like a disco crucifix. The PKE meter can also be paired with the ecto-goggles for a more robust and immersive method of detection. What are ecto-goggles? Well, that's a lesson for another day. Until then, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters Northwest, serving the Pacific Northwest supernatural elimination needs.